Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the another session of uh, Jira. So today we are going to learn how to search the issues. Those are already there on my project. So what happened on this backlog? We are only getting the issues. Those are either in progress or are the future issues. Where we have the issues, those are uh, completed uh, before. So Jira provides us option to search any kind of issue in any kind of project with any kind of filters. So for that, just click on this filter and move and click on advanced issue search. So after click on that, we would be uh, having this screen in front of us. And on this screen, we have two different kind of option to uh, use the Jira filter. One is this visual filter, which provide us uh, some option to search uh, the issues based upon the basic condition, like what is the project, what type of issues we want to search, what is the status, who is the assignees, and if we have more field, then we can use this more uh, button to click on and select that particular field and do the filter. So we are going to use this filter. Along with that, we would also discuss about what is advanced filter. Those are available in general. Okay, so for here, we are just searching so for uh, current active sprint only. Okay, so we selected our current project and without choosing any option from here, you can click on this and select the current active sprint over here. Okay, so you got all the issues. Those are available in my current sprint. So these are the subtasks, these are the stories, and this is the overall filter. Okay, so what we can do with these kind of issues? We can do, we can download these issues, we can export these issues in the form of uh, Word, RSS, so these are the so many options available. You can use this option to export this field. You can see like here we have some field available for all the issue type. We can add more field by clicking on this uh, column field and select the column that we want to add. Just select any column or unselect any column if you don't want that particular column over here. Just click on effect field effect version and click on done. So that particular field would be added over here. And if there is any version assignment there, that version would be visible to us. So this is our basic filter. The limitation of this filter is it always filter in one direction only. Like if we move into our advanced filter, like switch to jQuery, you would find like what type of field we have selected, there is an AND condition between that. So all conditions should match, then those kind of issue would be visible over here. But with the help of jQuery, where we are currently now, here we have to write some queries. So with the help of jQuery, we can make complex query to fill, search our issues. So for example, I want to search for the issues, uh, those are of all the subtasks subtask, or the stories uh, or, or the issues assigned to some particular person. So let's write that particular filter. Okay, I want to search issue types is equal to subtask. Okay, and assignee is equal to Cuphead. So currently it is and condition, but now I want to add a little bit complexity over here. Uh, this is and condition, but with that condition, I want to put or condition over here. Or is issue type is equal to story. So what this filter is uh, telling now, the syntax is correct. That's why this uh, icon converted to uh, green one. It is saying like search the issues in project SDP where either issue type is subtice and assignee is coupled. So this is the code of that particular assignee. 
or issue type story. So for issue type story, it is not going to validate the assigner. But for subtask, it is going to check the assigner. So just search on this and you will check that all subtask issue assignee is coupled. But for stories, there is no condition put over here. So these kind of complex queries can be written with the help of jQuery. So let's discuss about some other uh, JQL scenarios. Okay, so uh, before this, we were checking like, uh, okay, after moving into this complex query, we cannot switch back to basic one. For that, we have to delete this filter and click on search. Only then we can switch to basic. Okay, from where we started? We started with project this one and sprint. Sprint one uh, was the third one, active sprint. So this sprint is active now, but what would happen after two weeks? This sprint would be closed one. So that filter would not work for the active sprint. Here we can use functions. Those are available in uh, advanced equal, like sprint in open sprints. So by writing this query, we always get the issues from the active sprint, right? We can save this query and we can use this query onto our dashboard. We would discuss about using these query onto the dashboard for creating reports in our future session. But you can see like this is the benefit to write these kind of uh, GQL function because it would always provide us active results. This is the scenario number two, where we discuss about the functions of the JQL. On the first scenario, we discuss about the operator of JQL. So now discuss about one scenario. Okay, you are working as a scrum master, right? And you want to find all those issues on in your current sprint where there is no update happened in last five days. So how we can write that particular query? But that this is the common scenario. Like when whenever you are tracking your work, you can find those issues where there is uh, no update happened in the last five days. Because in a sprint, every day some 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 uh, update is happened, right? So just select the project and uh, select the current sprint. We can also use JQL over here. Uh, we would move into that as well. And click on more and update it date within last five days, right? Five days hold on but it is what it is saying like find all those issues where something is updated in last five days right but we want all those issues where there is no update happen in last five days for that just switch on to jquel and change this operator to less than and for sprint, we can use our JQL that we have learned. Sprint in open sprints, right? This function makes sense. Now click on search. So we are finding all those issues where there is no update happen within last five days. You can see like today is 10th of May and all these issues were updated. We can say much before than that. There is no update happen uh in last five days okay so hope you enjoy this session and there is one more thing you can learn more about jql onto this page which is provided by atlasa so they provide more uh, information about operators more information about function and their syntax or you can also put comment into our this session so that uh, we would provide you a solution for those kind of threats. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.